Hello, good morning. My name is Dr. Alex C again. I'll be continuing on the description of the op amp circuit with negative feedback. This was covered in yesterday's lecture and this is on page 18 of your lecture handout. Now to begin with, let me explain what do we mean that there, there are sorry, there are different types of uh, operational amplifier circuit with what we call negative feedback. So uh, I will just start with this one here, the one with the inverting amplifier, okay, and how it works. <coughs> to begin with, for the inverting amplifier, okay, there will be a resistor that will be connected to the negative terminal of the operational amplifier circuit. Okay, so for that purpose, okay, the terminal V minus will be equal to V plus, okay, due to the negative feedback. And the other point, very important point to note, is that the current at the input terminals will, uh, will be zero because I minus equals to I plus equals to zero ampere, which means that due to the very high infinite resistance of the operational amplifier, no current will enter into the plus or minus terminal. Let's take a look at the in inverting amplifier circuit. As you can see, this is on page 19 of your notes, the inverting amplifier. Now this is a typical circuit of an inverting amplifier where you have the feedback resistor. Okay, feedback resistor. And at the same time, you also have an input resistor here. Now notice that the input signal, okay, if I may draw, maybe a sine wave, will be entering the input terminal here, going into the negative terminal. Okay, you must please make note of this. It's going into the negative terminal of the operational amplifier. In fact, the output voltage will be amplified. Okay, if the signal goes into here. Now, in the operation amplifier circuit, right, we talk about the voltage gain, right? Okay, which is denoted by A under uh, subscript V, where A means the amplitude, voltage gain. Okay, now this gain of the amplifier depends very much on the resistance RF over RI. Let's take a look over here. So this resistor divided by this resistor. Okay, moving on. And the gain of this resistor, this part here, is called the gain of this inverting amplifier. And notice that there is a minus sign here. So this is the voltage formula gain okay, that you are required to know. But I will explain how we derive to here. Okay, this is the derivation of the formula for the inverting amplifier and it can be found on page 20 of your lecture notes. To first of all begin to determine the voltage gain, Let's make two assumptions, simplifying assumptions that the V minus equals to V plus and there's no current entering into the terminal because of the very high input impedance. Now looking at this, okay, we can look at this circuit. Right, let's move up a bit. Okay, you will notice that to begin with, the positive terminal here, V plus, is actually shorted to ground. 
okay, short form. So therefore, this voltage will be zero volts. So as we mentioned earlier, that V minus equals to V plus. So therefore, this potential here is zero volts, which is the same as this potential here. And this is what we term as the virtual ground. Okay, you must remember that, the virtual ground. Alright, so we know that the voltage here is zero. We know that the voltage here is VI, which is the input voltage. We know that the voltage here is V out. Now, from here, since as I mentioned that the V plus is grounded, therefore your V minus also is equals to zero volts which is here okay and your v minus is said to be at the virtual ground as shown here now we can now go on to derive the mathematical expression okay on the uh, the gain of this circuit now let's take a look over here I'm just going to cover this part of the circuit and just only showing you the upper part of the circuit to make our to make the circuit easier to analyze. Now what we can do is that you notice that here to here there is a voltage difference, right? And we now know that the current is flowing in this direction going from left to right and because of the very high input impedance the current will have to be like a road runner as I mentioned in the lecture it's going to do a 90 degree turn and it's going down this way and this is called the IF current right so basically the current is going to flow this way up on this way pass through this resistor and come out to the V out now with this in mind we can form the Kirchhoff current law. Using the Kirchhoff current law, we know that your I, I equals to your IF. Okay? So we can now formulate the expression, okay, by using uh, this expression over here. We can say that the current I, I over here is given by V. I minus zero volts because here is zero volts here is VI okay divided by the RI okay and if that is equals to over here zero volt minus V out okay zero volt minus V out divided by the RF resistance so with this in mind we can immediately solve for this expression minus V out divided by RF and hence we can know that <coughs> your V out divided by VI is equals to RF over RI with a minus sign here And therefore, this is equivalent to the AV, which is the voltage gain of the inverting amplifier. That's all.